So today's topic, Let's Steven Crowder. If you aren't aware, Steven Crowder's a right wing commentator, very popular right now. I think he's shifted to Rumble. Uh, not much on YouTube as much. Uh, and he's been going through a divorce. Now, why should you care? Honestly, yeah. you probably shouldn't. Um, but Steven Crowder, he's been involved in a few different situations recently. Now, the divorce comes after his wife alleges that he was emotionally abusive uh, in the relationship itself. There's a ring video as well as an article that came out from a sub stack by Yashar. Uh, and there's also a video from Steven Crowder talking about the divorce. So first, let's play the Steven Crowder video. Well, in the conservative sphere, there was a lot more of the focus being on Crowder versus Candace Owens. And that's because on his podcast, Crowder talks about how he's been dealing with a divorce since 2021, saying he kept it private, but people in positions of power knew that this was happening. With him alluding to extortion and threats about exposing that information, then playing a clip of Candace Owens speaking about him. There, she seems to question his Christianity, says that he's going through a lot, says we should pray for him. And we had Owens uploaded a video titled Steven Crowder Accused Me of Extortion, saying he always paints himself as the victim, saying no one's threatened him or made demands behind closed doors, saying Crowder sent her a flirty Instagram DM on midterm election night that she didn't respond to, saying after that he began his attacks on the Daily Wire, and concluding that the divorce is why he's spiraling and acting erratic. She then sends Crowder a cease and desist, demanding a full retraction, and then invites Crowder's wife on her show. So with all of that, I gotta say, I, I don't care about that part. Let him fight it out. That's messy. When I your political opponent is basically saying like, yo, wife, come, 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 throw some dirt on yo, Crowder's name. Yo. That's foul. But for me, what was the most interesting was the insight that it gave on what he and people like him think should be legal or not. With Crowder very much seemingly not a fan of the law. My then wife decided that she didn't want to be married anymore. And in the state of Texas, that is completely permitted. And I still believe that children need a mom and a dad and that divorce is horrible. But in today's legal system, my beliefs don't matter. In Texas, divorce is permitted when one party wants it, period. And she wanted something else for her life. That's not my choice. Yeah, she man. simply wanted out, and the law says that that's how it works. It's no one's fault but my own in that I picked wrong. So that's how he feels about it. He describes it. He claims that Candace Owens is extorting him, hasn't provided any proof. Kind of a crazy allegation. Boy. Yeah, it's a wicked uh, allegation. So, Let's play the video. Extortion. Of how Steven Crowder treats his wife. That's Yo, bro, being the being. This is the thing, bro. When you're these public figures, bro, and you're in the media and all that, bro, claims like that. Even if you're not, bro, claims like that, bro, them shit serious, gang. Like rape allegations and and, and and coming out and being like, yeah, this person did this, that, and that, bro. That shit can change the whole outlook on certain people, even if they didn't do it, bro. So just the mere allegations of certain things. That's why people get sued for defamation and shit, bro. Especially when you're a public figure. But the thing is, I'm pretty sure he got... I'm, I'm not pocket-watching nothing, but I have to assume he has some form of money to... to. If he were to get in a legal bind, he could upkeep. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can fight in court or whatever the case may be. But still, bro, that's a whole... Like, that's still a process. And it's, But just the mere fact that you're saying somebody extortion, bro. Extortion? It's not no light shit. You know what I mean? Like, at point blank period, that's not nothing light that you claim that somebody don't. That's so recent. I know you hate the dude, but god damn. Do I drew a boundary. Yeah. I drew a boundary. No, no, I'm not smoking just, a cigar. I drew a boundary and abuse you. Yeah, you, you were not taking the car. No, because if you refuse to do wifely things, then I will go pick up the groceries. But there is no groceries. I do have steaks. Wood pellets. My grill. Hello, if you guys speak. I know it's not a reasonable request, but I'll go do it. How about you first? Hillary, how do you respect the man? Yeah, other than man, other than man, I just see love like that. Mind you, this lady is pregnant. Yeah, I was thinking, I'm like, what are you talking about? That belly bigger than a motherfucker. Eight months pregnant. Eight months of and you're not gonna let her take the car. You want to let her take the Uber? Because apparently they only have one car. And that was wild, like saying the Uber thing. And it's just like, what? No, 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 no. What's your point? I don't understand why they wouldn't have multiple cars. That's weird. I don't care but about hey, that. Maybe, 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 maybe the car, the car is being repaired. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Yeah, what are you talking about? You weird. don't have to have two cars. It doesn't matter. Because it's during the pet, it's during the uh, the quarantine. So basically, he's saying like, if you take it, then I can't leave. And she's not specifying when she's gonna come back. I'm trying to do, listen, everybody's shitting on him. Then, I'm just trying to just then, 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 then your unpregnant ass take the Uber then. Okay? True. If True. she's good enough to take an Uber because she's pregnant, 
Your unpregnant, manly fucking right wing ass. Why would you hear right wing? Because usually they're they're more about you know gender roles and stuff like that. I'm the man. I'm the one that's uh, strong. So if you're the man, you're the one that's strong, and she's the one that go, she's gonna run the errands. You gonna take your manly hand? Yeah, I was I was Uber. a little okay. 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 Yeah. Hey, talk your shit, you please. Talk your okay. shit, man. Pregnant? Okay. Yeah, nah. First of all, my wife pregnant. I ain't gonna lie. I got. Unfortunately, even if I gotta take her, I let her take the car. You feel me? If I don't gotta take her, and she feel okay with driving or whatever. The fuck, like nine times out of ten, I'm gonna probably be with her. But if she wants to take the car to be somewhere and I may have to go somewhere, I'll take a lift. And there's one car, I'll take a lift. Or drop her off. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, it's some compromise there. My son look like he ain't trying to have it, though. Like, he trying to... Okay. First of oh, all, the conversation is oh, kind of cut, too. You, I don't know. Oh, you are special kind of soft. Special kind of soft is mad funny. So you're not taking the car? You're not taking the car? You are not... Steven is crazy. I will ask somebody to pick me up. Why can't you pick up, my nigga? Okay. Would you like me to ask? What's up, right? It's not a threat, Steven. Get an Uber. Okay, Steven, I can't. I guess someone to pick me up. Get an Uber. Why just let somebody go pick her up? She 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 made a compromise, but I don't even understand what's going yeah, on. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm confused. But again, this is the weird thing. We're seeing a conversation three minutes long in the middle of something. I don't. Even, yeah. I don't know what the problem is. Yeah, I don't know what the what problem is. Fact. But I'm. Old. I don't know where the conversation begins. This is a clip. So I don't want to take it too crazy. But just this clip is just sound like a bunch of bullshit. Like he just on bat on BT for no reason. Like, already like. But I'm assuming it's more than off a, on you know Steven Crowder yeah. because so many people who are different, who are not connected to him or not connected to each other, have alleged that he's very controlling. He has a bad temper. He's very like, and you know the stuff that he handled with the Daily Wire was really shady in my opinion. So this is like. Falling in line with what a lot of people say about him. Yep. I would give a normal person the benefit of the doubt because he's got such a bad rep online. This should look, look kind of crazy. Even with a bad rep, being so fucking adamant about the fucking car and you're letting her take an Uber, it's like, who raised you? Yeah, but you, got, you, you, got, you don't know the world of context that exists in a long marriage like this. I understand what you're saying. Maybe she's not been helpful at all throughout the whole marriage. Even if she is, she's taking an Uber to go take, to do the groceries? That That's her actual... If she hasn't, if she hasn't been helpful, and now she's taking the car, it sounds like she's gonna leave, and she's not specifying when she's coming back, which is might be the issue at hand here. I can understand. So again, that's why I'm saying I don't know. Okay. But yeah, this to is me, just, what indicts him? This shit look, it just looks crazy because the context is really, it's really like it's not really a lot. <laughs> the face curve is the pa- the, the prior. Yeah, 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 exactly. Feeling some constraints. Yeah, this looked like something. The only way out of this is discipline and What? The only way- what the f- Wait, it just looked crazy because what is he talking about, bro? The only way out of his discipline and respect. I will say it is a really bad idea to be highly stressing your wife while she's this pregnant. Yeah. It's bad for the baby and it's bad for your wife. Take an Uber. It doesn't seem like this is about the car. Yeah, I no, think it's, it's about not. something else. It's not about the car. Clearly not. It, it's either about some other shit or yeah. control. That's what it is. That's, That's what, what it looked like. That's what it looked like. Yeah, studies facts. back that up. Like stress actually makes adverse pregnancy oh. outcomes by disrupting uh, blood flow, high blood pressure, uh, having a low birth weight infant. I get it though. It was during the pandemic. It was a very stressful time. Not only for like, you feel me? Obviously, uh, right. You know what I'm saying? Regular people, but they got one car. You don't know what's going on with the world. The whole world was. Disarray. I'm assuming that's when this clip was out. I think that's what he said. So I get it. But my son is just on BT, bro. Just you feel me? Cooperate. You feel me? Y'all married. Y'all married, and this is your pregnant. You feel me? It's your pregnant significant other, my nigga. Like work with her. It's making her stressed out. <laughs> Preterm birth. Even if you feel like is you justify my nigga. Come on, son. This is wifey. Like be like ah, all right, whatever. To be mindful. When someone is that pregnant, it's not a good idea to be in these kinds of situations continuously. And yeah. from what she's described, their marriage has been tenuous like this for a long time. Good. Because you can't have any discipline or respect. Yeah. Exactly. Right? Yeah. 
There you go. You throw your hand. You give up so easily. I don't give up so easily. You, know, Excuse me? you give up so easily. I, I just said the only way out of this is discipline and respect. You said, then we're at an impasse. Stephen, no, we are at an impasse. Okay? I love you, but Stephen, Stephen, your abuse is sick. Your abuse watch it. is sick. Watch it. Fucking watch it. I'm going to let go. I'll get what you need me to get. And I, I need some space. We need to just stop engaging for a little bit. Okay? I love you. I love you very much. I don't love you. That's the big problem. Oh. I've never received love from you. And the fact is, when I go, look, I need you to do A, B, C, and D, you just do this one about it, you go, no. But I love you more than life itself. Okay. Put on some gloves. No. But I love you more than life itself. That's not fair. That's not fair, and it's disingenuous. Hillary, you're right. We're at an Become someone that's unique. Day in and day out, worthy of a wife worth? No, not as a wife. I didn't say as a wife. As a wife. Hillary, Hillary, come on now. I'm not going to engage. I'm not going to engage anymore. I'm going to go. I'll get text me what you need. I'll get you what you need. I, I love you. I'm committed to you. Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm, I'm not, engaged. I'm not going to. Are you committed I'm enough to do those things? Bad. You're not committed to anything. You're not committed to anything. You just said I love you. I'm committed to that. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. I need to walk the dogs. Put on some okay, so it sounds like he's <clears throat> demanding from his eighth month pregnant wife to do some labor to prove that she's committed because he feels like she just says stuff and doesn't do it with actions. Uh, apparently, she didn't want to walk the dogs because apparently, to some degree, it could be poisonous towards the child, and he really wanted her to. So those are some of the many problems that they have together. Oh, nigga, you could have did that shit yourself. He... Are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm going to just walk the dog. Put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to get the medication the dog said? Don't you take, take that in. I don't know how true this last statement is, because I didn't hear it. Him saying, I will fuck you up. That's it's obviously something crazy. you should never say to your partner. It's fuck your eighth month pregnant old wife. Is, I'm not laughing. Look, look, look. Nah, I'm not even trying. I don't even think I'm be able to watch the rest of this. Now, nah, niggas talking about the mess. I'm not even laughing at that. It's just like thinking, like saying some shit like that, nigga. You're nuts. You're crazy if you said that. Allegedly. Allegedly. I will read a little bit, a couple excerpts from the article. Itself. I'm reading this and we are. They say that she's been spending years hiding her husband's mental um, and emotional abuse from her family and that he lied about the circumstances around their divorce and that he wasn't present for the birth of their children. Nobody's saying that anyone was beaten in this marriage or that there was infidelity. And in audio files and text messages that Yashar received, Stephen Crowder admits to some of his faults, which include a volcanic temper repeatedly and at times regretful, regretfully. Apparently, this is one thing that I thought was really interesting. Crowder, in the video you guys saw earlier, complains about the no-fault divorce things. In June 2021, Stephen left their home to pursue elective surgery. Hillier urged him to get help he needed to address his... Uh, behavior with the hope that their marriage could be saved now they could uh -huh. physically live together as a family instead Stephen refused to do so and choose to not be his wife during the birth of their tw twin children uh Harley was unaware that Stephen Crowder had hired a divorce attorney and asked his assistant to cut Hillary off financially there is significant documentation substantiating these facts and I still believe that children need a mom and a dad and that divorce is horrible but in today's legal system my beliefs don't matter in Texas, divorce is permitted. Him going out talking about she wants a divorce, but he's been talking to a divorce lawyer and that he'd been cutting her off financially. Those kind of circumstances make things a little bit sus. That's weird. Yes. Yeah. Especially when you say something <clears throat> different publicly. Like, what you what you claim? What you, you claim? Like, yeah, she yeah. wanted this, she wanted this because I got money, I got money. But you went when she didn't even know about it, about uh -huh. a divorce. Yeah. You, you felt this. What are your uh, thoughts on this? Yeah, this whole situation is weird. Uh, he does look... I don't know what he look like to the media. I don't really be knowing these niggas like that, so I can't really speak too much. Based off the clips where he with <coughs> Abba Red and with, with the, the shit they be saying about him, it looks bad. Not even gonna lie, it looks bad. But then again, you feel me? The internet has a funny way of making anybody look bad. I don't really know too much. They, like, even with the conversation they were having, uh, again, it was... Like a lot of those analogies weren't even about like the the glove putting the gloves on and and doing the grocery shopping and taking the Uber and saying you all that shit that was just that was deeply rooted in something totally different like 
they were that was that wasn't even those conversations that were being had about those specific things. I don't think the problems were those specific things. I think the problem is rooted in something way deeper. And it was just making analogies about it. Uh I don't know. I don't know. Uh what I do know is even if you maybe not in such agreement, so you probably not like having the best time with wifey or whatever, bro, when she's pregnant prego. Especially eight months, I think you should kinda like bend the knee a little bit. Like, you know what I mean? Like this. Take it a little easy on it, you know what I mean? Like, even if you may not agree with with everything, man, it's a time. I can come to a, a you feel me, a, a space maybe later on because at this point right now, bro, for the next nine months or, or however amount of months it takes, bro, she's carrying your child and the amount of stress and amount of everything else is weighing on her and you being a part of that thing that's weighing her down can affect not only you but your child. So let's... Just keep that in mind a little bit. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Yeah, I'd be easy. This nigga, he, if he said I'm going to fuck you up, though, I ain't going to lie. This nigga's wild. <laughs> Word. He's wild. Allegedly.